Hello and welcome to Pabli. In this video, we are going to understand how to enroll a user in Zenlo course for successful payment in Pabli subscription billing. So here my objective is that every time a payment is made by a user through Pabli subscription billing, let's say that the payment is made for the specific course, then automatically the same user should be enrolled to a specific course, basically the same course in Zenlo, which is an online course platform. Now to do this, we'll have to integrate the two applications and the same thing can be done using Pabli Connect. So here my trigger will be Pabli subscription billing and my action application here will be Zendo. Now to understand how you can integrate and automate this entire process yourself without the need of any coding skills, let's begin. So this here is the dashboard of Pabli Connect and you can reach here by clicking on the link which is given in the video description. So if you are an existing user, please sign in and if you are a new user you will have to sign up it's not going to take more than two minutes also at the time of account creation you will get 100 free tasks to test all these automations now once you reach the dashboard on the right hand side there's a tab create workflow click on this this dialog box has appeared and here you have to name your workflow you can give any random name i'm going to name it as per my objective which is to enroll user in a particular course in zenlo for successful payment in Pabli subscription billing. Then you have to select a folder. I have done that and here I'm going to click on create. So as we do that here we have reached another window which has got two extremely important events. One here is trigger, another one is action. Now triggers and actions are basically those two principles or concepts on which this entire automation works. Trigger is when this happens, action says do this. Basically action here is the automated response of your trigger application. Now let's understand this with the help of an example. So every time a payment is done, then you receive a notification on SMS about the amount debited. Now how does that happen? With the help of automation. So in such a case, the trigger is the payment gateway and your action application can be any SMS sending application. So once we have understood this, let's come to our use case. So here my trigger will be Pabli subscription billing. Let's click on this. Next, we have the trigger event. So this here will be payment successful. Yes, here we have successful payment. So every time there's a successful payment on Pabli subscription billing, then only this workflow is going to trigger. Now you can see we have received this webhook URL. So this URL is going to act as a bridge for connecting Pabli Connect and Pabli subscription billing. So here I'm going to quickly copy this and then we have to follow the following help text given. So let me show you what exactly we have to do. So this here is my Pabli subscription billing account. And here as I scroll down, we have settings. Let's click on this. Within settings, we have webhook. Here I'm going to add new webhook. Let's say the name here is Pabli new webhook. Okay, then we have to select the product. So before I do this, I'm going to take you to Zenlo. And here I'm going to take you to the different courses that we have. So you can see we have different courses like Python for beginners, then PHP course for beginners, etc. Now let's say that every time the payment is made for this particular course, which is PHP course for beginners, then I want all those users to be enrolled in this course. So here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to select the same product. You can see this product PHP course for beginners. So I have selected this. Now you can also create your plans as per the pricing you want. I already have created this plan which is test plan so i've selected this and here i'm going to paste the url that we have just received now do you want any authentication so you can protect your webhook url with basic authentication or webhook retry i'm not going to do this and then we have to select the event for this i'm going to go to this payment and successful payment is the event and here i'm going to click on save so we can see that our webhook has been added successfully. So once this is done, now I'm going to take you back to Pabli Connect. Now here we can see that it has captured a test response and now I'm going to click on recapture webhook response. Now once done, it is saying that once you have added the webhook URL, we have to do a test submission so that the data can be recorded here in the webhook response. So once again, I'm going to take you to Pabli subscription billing and here I'm going to take you to the products. Now we want this particular product which is PHP course for beginners here I'm going to click on checkout and as we do that now here we have to fill in this information so let's say the first name here is 
new. The last name is smart. Then we have the email address which is new smarty at pablitudes.com. Then here we have to enter the name of the country. So this here is the name of the country. The state, let's say it is Madhya Pradesh. Then we have to enter the payment information. So here I'm going to just select a test card. Let's enter the CVV and here I'm going to click on complete order. Now as we do that, we can see that the transaction has been successful and going back to Public Connect, you can see we have captured the response here. So the event type is payment success, event source is checkout. This here is the user ID. Then here we have the user verified, user updated at this date and time. Here we have got the details. This is the name of the state. Here is the name of the project that we are working on. Now, as I take you down, so here you can see that this here is the shipping address name. Then we have the response updated date and time. And again, here we have got the state details. Then here we have got the last name. Then we have the full name. And again, here is the first name. Then we have the email address of the person created date and time. Here we have got the billing details. And this here is the product name. You can see the plan code is test plan. So we have received all the details here. And once we have received this, what do I want this user who has just made the payment should be enrolled in the same course in Zenlo. So here I'm going to choose my action application as Zenlo. Let's click on this. And the action event here will be to enroll user to a course. Here I'm going to click on connect. Now here Pabli Connect wants to connect with Zenler account. Since we are setting up this connection for the first time, here I'm going to select add new connection. Now you can see to set up this connection, we need the API key and the schooler account. How can we receive this? For this, first I'm going to take you to my Zenler account. Now here let's go to the profile. Let's go to settings. Now within settings, we have got developers and then we have API key. So click on this and this here is the API key. So I'm going to copy this, go back to Pabli Connect, paste the same here and then we need the school or the account name. So if this here is your URL, so in front of newzenla.com is the name of your school or account. So here you can see Pabli is the name of my school or account. Here I'm going to paste the same, click on save to set up this connection. And we can see that Zenlo and Pabli Connect are now connected. Now to enroll this user, we have to fill in this information. First of all, enter the course ID. So the ID is PHP course for beginners. Now we have to enter the course plan ID. How can we receive this? You have to follow the step. So let me show you. So let's go to courses. And let's go to PHP course for beginners. Within this, we have pricing. And here we have the edit tab. Now, as you click on this edit tab here in the URL in front of edit, this number is your course ID, course plan ID. I'm going to paste the same and then you need the email address. Now we had received the email address of the person in the previous step. I want to retrieve the same here. How can I do that with the help of a method which is known as mapping? So I'm going to click here. You can see the previous step. And here I'm going to look for the email address. So yes, here we have the email address of the person. Now this method is mapping and this is important so that every time your workflow runs in real time. So the new information that it has received can be entered here. If I had written the same manually, then this information would have become static and it won't capture the new response. So to avoid this problem, we map the information. Now let's enter the first name. So here I'm going to write name. Here we have got the first name and what do we want? Then we want the last name. So I'm going to write last name and this here is the last name. Okay, now here I'm going to click on save and send test request. And as we do that here, we can see we have received the response. The code is 200, the message is success and the data that we have received here says, user enrolled to the course successfully with plan code PHP programming. Let's go back to Zenla, go to courses. And now here I'm going to take you to PHP course for beginners. So you can see there are 12 enrollments and this here is the new enrollment. We have the details here. So let's check that we have the name as new smart. And here we have got the email address of the person joining date and time. So yes, this means our integration here is a success. 
let's do one thing let's check the same in real time so i'm going to take you back to pabli payments click on checkout once again and let's say this time the first name is smarty and the last name is demo then here we have the email address which is smarty at pabli tutes.com and then here we have the name of the country which is india the name of the state which is madhya pradesh and here i'm going to enter the test card details let's enter the cvv and click on complete order and we can see here that our transaction is successful going back to zenlo i'm going to quickly refresh this page so as if now we had 12 enrollments now let's check this we can see we have got 13 enrollments and yes this is the new user who has been enrolled the name is smarty demo and these are the details so this means integration here is a complete success taking you back to pabli connect let's quickly understand what we have done so here our trigger was pabli subscription billing where the event was successful payment then our action application was zenlo where the event was to enroll user to a course I hope this is absolutely clear to you. If in case you have any doubt, you can refer to the workflow which is given in the video description. You can also clone the same and start to process immediately. Apart from this, if you have any specific integration to work on, you can always write to us. Not only this, but you can integrate multiple applications using Pabli Connect software. To ask any of your query, you have to write at forum.pabli.com. You can also visit our website which is www.pabli.com slash connect. To get all the details about the latest updates, the integrations and applications, you can visit our Facebook group. If in case you have found this video helpful, then do not forget to share this with your friends and colleagues so that they can also get into automation and make their life easy. I'm going to see you very soon with different integrations and automations. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Take care of yourself.